Sony PlayStation emulation is in an excellent place with pretty much near perfect emulation being offered by the likes of Duck Station and the RetroArch Core Swan Station. In this guide we'll show you the quickest way to get up and running playing PlayStation games in RetroArch with the Swan Station Core. First of all, here's what you'll need to do before we begin. Install RetroArch, have at least one PS1 game disc image ready to test, and to properly play PS1 games you'll ideally need a controller. The 8-bit Doe Pro 2 is an excellent choice and is my personal preference to use with most emulators. Find links in the description to this great all-round controller. So if you already have a controller, ensure it's connected to your system prior to following this guide. The Swan Station Core on RetroArch requires the use of a PS1 BIOS file so it can boot up games. I recommend locating and downloading the following BIOS files. Once you have your desired region PS1 BIOS, you'll need to copy it to your RetroArch system folder. Next, boot up RetroArch and select Load Core, then Download a Core. Scroll down the Core Downloader menu until you get to Sony PlayStation Swan Station. Select this and then the Core will begin to download and install automatically. It can also be a good idea if you're using an existing installation of RetroArch and not a fresh install to go back to the main menu, scroll down to Online Updater and select Update Core Info Files as well as Update Databases. This will ensure all the essential files and databases for RetroArch are fully up to date. If you're using a fresh installation of RetroArch, this won't be necessary. We're now ready to boot up your first PS1 game with RetroArch and Swan Station. Go back to the main menu in RetroArch and select Load Content, then navigate to where you have your PlayStation game stored. Then select the game disc image you wish to load. Swan Station will now kick into life and the game will boot. And that's the quickest way to play PS1 games with RetroArch and the Swan Station Core. The Swan Station Core has a wide range of enhancement options available too. To access these settings, press F1, then scroll down and select Core Options and then Enhancement Settings. Here you can access everything from the internal resolution scale through to multi-sample anti-aliasing settings, making your PS1 games look far less jagged and upscaled. Thanks for checking out this guide. Be sure to explore the channel further as well as visiting howtoretro.com for more RetroArch and emulation guides. Thanks again, see you soon.